you know, you could write a guidebook on every scenario that you could possibly do come across as a chief petty officer, and it still won't even come close. Sailors are still always and forever will be our number one concern as chiefs. And as long as your sailors are taken care of, they will take care of you. To not only be a very integral part of the Navy, but to last as long as we've last, there has to be something unique and special about the Navy chief. Oh, jeez. The infamous phrase, huh? Oh, chief, right? So it was always, uh, it was always either an old crap or a, oh man, thank, thank goodness she's here, or she. So um, it's, it's a very, very strong phrase, very empowering, very, I don't know, I just, I can't think of too many other things that would compete with the phrase the chief. You, you don't know what you're really gonna get yourself into, but me, I'm supposed to be that resident expert, I'm supposed to be um, you know, a guidance counselor. I'm supposed to, you know, be on you when you're doing wrong and let you know, you know, hey, when you're doing a good job, pat your back. I would say take the role of a dad, a mom, an uncle, an aunt, a brother, a sister, a pastor, a counselor, a friend, a mentor, and any other adjective that you can come up with of somebody who you would normally talk to in the world that we call life. And that's what we do and get paid to do on a ship that puts sailors in harm's way, gets the mission done, and makes sure everybody comes home safe and sound. You know how to read what's going on with your people. You can tell the difference between a bad day or something going on in their personal life. It takes more than just Navy experience to make a chief. It takes somebody who's been, been weathered in the storm of life and in adversity to really make a good chief. So we make sure the job gets done, right? I, you know, and it's, it's been said that, you know, officers run the Navy, but chiefs make the Navy run. You know, and that's, that's how it is. We, we lead the working class of the Navy. The chief's mess is powerful due to the chief, but the chief is powerful due to the mess. Today I might be dealing with one thing, and tomorrow I might be dealing with something completely off the wall, and that's where we all just come together and learn how to conquer these problems. Because just because you put on khakis September 16th, and you drive through the gate the next day with that combo cover on, that gate guard doesn't know that you're a chief that was pinned yesterday. They're gonna call you the chief no matter what. Always remember, leadership is a submission to duty. Leadership is not an empowerment factor. It's not about power. Remember your creed. Remember that you're supposed to, you know, you, you remember what you went through. You know, remember what you did to get here. It's the, uh, it's the sense of heritage, it's the sense of pride. Um, even in the creed, it, it, it brings something to the effect of remembering those who came before you is the reason that you are looked at with such esteem. So I may have an issue, I can go talk to a fellow chief or a prior chief or a reserve chief or a retired chief. They've seen it, somebody's seen it, somebody's done it. That's the founding knowledge. Very tight, just to hear it, it's, it's, it makes me as a chief just choke up. It, just as soon as you hear the Chief Petty Officer's Creed, it's, it's a feeling that, you know, you always want to make sure that you do the right thing all day, every day. And a chief is 24-7, 365. You know, retired, active duty, it doesn't matter. I'm a chief all day, every day. Because once you're a chief, you're always one. And that's the beauty about, you know, our anchors and, you know, our fraternal brother sisterhood. Um, you know, we know that we should be able to count on each other. And, you know, that's just, you know, a legacy that will last forever. You know, be that chief that learns from what you lived um, and actually lives changing it, right? It doesn't just, oh, okay, we had it. No, do something about it. Show up, be there for your sailors, leave a legacy, leave a change, leave an impact, make it better.
making chief should have the same the same impact that it had 125 years ago today and it should be our goal for one day if our grandchildren join the navy decide to follow in our footsteps and they get pinned to chief 40 years from now that it has that same legacy that we don't lose that edge that what it means to be a chief petty officer so that we own it we own it together it's a group effort from the past chiefs the current chiefs and the future chiefs